only March, but Microsoft has already announced their plans for E3 2018, and that's going to be our topic today on the pause menu. I am Corey, this is Chris. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps us out. But today we want to talk about Microsoft's messaging and how they present things at E3. Last year they had a lot of things like 41 games announced and the Xbox One X and its 4K push, but I still felt kind of confused by the end of it, and that's where I really want Microsoft to improve. So what do you expect from Microsoft? So what I think we need to see at this coming E3, that could maybe clear up the messaging, are games, to be honest. Games that we want, that we want to play, that we care for. I feel like the last E3 was just a little, I don't know, like, they showed off, they said 41 games, but for some reason, I didn't care. Or maybe there weren't games that I were interested in, you know? Uh, I feel like we need to see the big hit titles, the big Microsoft exclusives. I want to see Halo 6, which we will see Halo 6, I'm pretty confident in that. You know what, I feel like the past maybe year, two years have been off years that I would like to see Gears of War. I mean, maybe they need that big year, or a big year and a half where they can introduce these games and show them off. But like, I would love to imagine these games on the Xbox One X, all enhanced and whatnot, all new and fresh. That'd be so amazing. And also, they really need to show off more what the Xbox One X can do. They need to describe this console better. Maybe for people who don't have one, this is why you should get one, more of a case. I feel like the last three we just, they were introducing it, you know, we were, we were showing off slightly, but we, we need to hear more of this console. Yeah, I definitely agree. I'm still kind of shocked that it, they didn't have like a this is how it looks on Xbox One, this is how it looks on Xbox One X, because on some games there is a huge difference, uh, especially first party stuff like Forza 7 and Gears of War 4. Like Gears of War 4 on the One X, it looks incredible. Like it, it's such a huge step up and I don't understand how that wasn't a thing. Like how is that not a thing when you're trying to sell this hardware? Now I understand you don't want to kind of undersell or you know hurt the Xbox One, but this is E3. This is the presentation that you are really presenting to the gamers, the people that understand what 4K is and I, they have to do better with that, I don't understand. But like you said, when it comes to games, my biggest issue is basically, I'm tired of this like wordplay that Sony and Microsoft want to use of like console exclusive. And what, what does that mean? What does console exclusive mean? Or debuting first on this console? Like, just, it's so annoying because then the question's asked like, is it exclusive, is it exclusive? Like the Kingdom Hearts 3, like when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced, they, they announced it in between two PS4 exclusives, and they were just like, so is Kingdom Hearts exclusive? And it's not. I'm tired of that game. I understand yeah. that it sells consoles, but you don't have to just try to confuse the consumer. Because the information will get out there, so stop doing that. We even had a big debate for um, the Tomb Raider, with the timed exclusive right. with the Tomb Raider, how it came out on the Xbox first before it came out on the PS4. Like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, right. they're both going to come out. I, I don't think anyone's going to buy an Xbox just because you can play Tomb Raider before you can on the PS4. Right. You know, it, that makes no sense to me. I agree with that. Yeah, I just, I, just be clear on that. Like, if this is coming only to Xbox One, then say that. Or if it's vice versa, if it's only coming to the PS4, say it's only coming to PS4 ever. If it's if it is a timed exclusive or if it has exclusive content or console debut, say it's coming to other platforms in 2018. It just it, it needs to be clearer on that. So what do you think they could say more about the Xbox One X? What do you think they could do? I really think they just need to push again why it's so much better. And again, I'm not trying to say that the Xbox One isn't as good, but this is sort of the mid-generation... I, I feel like this succeeds where the PS4 Pro doesn't in a lot of ways of it can reach true 4K. Their 4K games on first-party stuff is true 4K, and some of the third-party stuff isn't. Um, but it's still a significant upgrade. They have the upper hand when it comes to that, and I expect them to push that. But at the same time, they also just need to focus on, like you said, good games. I don't want them to forget about the games and only push 4K, because that's kind of what they did last year. It was like, look at all these great games that are going to be in 4K, but like you said, they announced, they, they talked about 41 games last year. Mm -hmm. How many can you remember? Cuphead. Exactly. So this year, it's not about the amount, it's about the quality of games. And this brings me to maybe just one more point. I think I remember Cuphead so much because it was a great game and it was a good Microsoft game. Give us new games. Like, I feel like games that have taken off that Microsoft has their name on, it's Cuphead, uh, Ori, others. Like, maybe we can just see a little more mo new content. Uh, definitely supporting the Xbox One X, uh, what, what that system can do. And I feel like that's what catches us. Mm -hmm. to the system. And it's, I, I, I kind of want them to take a little bit of a play from the Sony playbook in that Sony has done a very good job of just showing games. And that's what we want to see. But they don't, 
they don't do the thing where they, they put indie developers on stage and they have them show like 20 games anymore. And I'm personally a fan of that style. If you only have 10 games to show, that's fine. But if you're going to show them, I want them to be spectacular. So the amount of games isn't so important to me. And I don't think it's important to a lot of people. They just want to see good games, like you said. Mm-hmm. So, But that's going to do it for this episode. Let us know what you think Microsoft can do to improve their messaging in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Subscribe.